Alan Eugene Miller was convicted in the workplace shooting rampage that killed three people in 1999. It happened here in Pelham. Here's a look at the scene from that day. Miller was a delivery truck driver at the time. Prosecutors said that Miller killed Lee Holdbrooks and Scott Yancey at one business, then drove to another location and shot Terry Jarvis. That scene and the details leaving people in the area shocked. Very surprised. You don't expect anything like this normally down here. Miller was pulled over and arrested later that day. Miller stayed behind bars while the case made its way through the legal system. The interest of the state was that he not be allowed the opportunity to make a bond. As the case was presented in the courtroom, testimony indicated that Miller was delusional and believed his co-workers were spreading rumors about him, including that he was gay. A defense psychiatrist hired for the trial found that Miller suffered severe mental illness, according to court documents. But it was said that Miller's condition wasn't bad enough to use as a basis for an insanity defense under state law. Jurors convicted Miller after 20 minutes of deliberation and then recommended a death sentence, which a judge imposed. The death row inmate's execution date is now September 26th. This will be the second attempt to carry out Miller's execution. The Alabama Department of Corrections attempted to put Miller to death two years ago. Officials called off the lethal injection after the execution team wasn't able to connect the intravenous line. The state faced a midnight deadline to get the execution underway before the death warrant expired. Now the method being used will be nitrogen hypoxia. The method was used for the first time in January in another Alabama execution.